I, I think it, it turns the attention to LeBron again and improves his value, right? Mm -hmm. We've seen all different sorts of teams LeBron has played on. When he's out, they struggle to win. And again, shows why LeBron is one of the greats of all time. But let me take it a step further. Just like we had a couple of years ago in Cleveland when Dwayne Wade and Derrick Rose and Isaiah Thomas and all those guys came over to play with LeBron, that eventually wore thin on the organization. Mm -hmm. Does this at some point begin to wear thin on LeBron and the Lakers organization? I don't think it will this year because I don't think they have any recourse. You know, this is who they're going to be, barring injury for the season. You don't think they could trade Russell Westbrook? No. Well, you're not going to get they, – they're not in a position to trade him because you're not trying to get picks. Right. You know, you gotta, you're trying to win a championship. So mm -hmm. there's no scenario out there where you could trade him and get the kind of player they need because – in reality, they need Russ to be Russ. They just need Russ to not be as as self-inflicted in terms of the, the the mistakes that he makes. If he could average under four turnovers a game this year, that's going to be huge. Because he hasn't averaged under four turnovers in the last probably eight, nine years. Mm -hmm. And so I would think he should be because his usage should come down some. Right, because LeBron's got the ball. And, and all he's got to do, and this is where, from a leadership standpoint, Frank Vogel, LeBron James and Anthony Davis and Carmelo to a certain extent, they've got to talk to him, right? Because what happens sometimes when you're an alpha and you're a, a, a commanding presence, even though I might feel a certain way, I may not be the type that wants to address it. Mm -hmm. We talked about what Marcus Smart did. Mm -hmm. He, mm -hmm. you know, and people, oh, he should, I'm, yeah, he should have. Because knowing him, he's probably already went down the path of trying to deal with it internally worked out well the last couple exactly. of exactly <laughs> best defense they played right. all right. season and right. so that's leadership right. it, sometimes you got to make people uncomfortable, uncomfortable. Yep. and and that's what's going to happen in this situation now they don't have to panic and go overboard right now but if this trend continues for the next few weeks then they're going to have to address it wasn't it very similar with rondo for a minute for a minute where rondo won the ball lebron won the ball and rondo said Ron, get on down the court. I got this. Yeah. Now, it's a different animal, obviously. But to answer your question, Jared, they have to figure it out. Yeah. They have to. There is, there is. Even, even if LeBron, you know, I know people at home, even LeBron goes to, you know, Rob Link and says, hey, Rob, this ain't working. We got to figure out how to get Russ out of here. Well, who are you going to call and bring in the last no, hour, right? The last hour <laughs> to make this thing click overnight. It ain't going to happen. There's a team in, in, in uh, Brooklyn and Philadelphia that's got a player around his salary that would match it. Well, I can guarantee you. That's a whole other animal game. Hold on, that's a whole other animal.